Iodine is applied directly to the fistula. One milliliter of the preparation is applied to each fistula. The amount of the iodine preparation is determined by the size of the wound. An amount sufficient to fill the wound should always be applied. The illustration demonstrates the redressing of a wound which occurred after the disintegration of a post-surgical wound and the subsequent breastbone necrosis following a cardiosurgical operation. The original wound can be seen in the photograph. At this moment, the wound is almost healed and there are only two small fistulas left. After removing the top layers of the rebandage, we clean the wound using gauze or non-woven fabric with disinfectant. As we can see, the wound is almost healed. A probe can show us the residual cavity above the right cardiac ventricle where the rupture was treated with a skin graft. The other fistula is above the remaining breastbone. To this patient, it is now necessary to apply hyodine to the wounds. Daily application should continue until the wounds are completely healed. It should be emphasized again that the original disintegrated wound was considerably large and extended above the right cardiac ventricle where the grafted wound was situated. Only hyodine was used in this healing process.